So, Josh and Pete Waterman and the rest of the composing team from the UK. Firstly, Pete and Mike and... Steve. Steve, sorry. You've just kind of come into this in the last couple of days. How are you finding the whole Eurovision world? Well, I think it's amazing. I, mean, I, I just... I've just... I'm a bit overwhelmed by it all, to be honest, because I, I didn't quite understand that it was that it was such a love fest. It's, it's fantastic. I really, really like it. And yeah, it's a, it's a bubble, a little world. And Josh, I could live here forever. <laughs> and Josh, how is it sitting next to 500 million record sales worldwide? You know, I've, uh, as you say, the Eurovision experience is something else in, it, in itself, and. Uh, to be part of this now, I've just kind of realised that anything goes and that I've just taken things as it comes. So to be sitting next to these guys, it's uh, it's almost surreal, you know, but I'm, I'm very honoured and, uh, you know, to be part of their history now. I'm crawler! Really crawler! <laughs> Stop licking! Um, to go back to Mike, Stephen, Peter, um, when you were doing the national final, you obviously had to write the song without knowing who was going to sing it. How much of a challenge was that? I, I, I found that difficult. Um, obviously, if it's a girl going to sing it, and you know, who there was in the final, then I think we'd have tackled it slightly differently. If a group sang it, you know, that would have made a difference. But the fact that Josh uh, did so well, uh, we were very happy because on the night he was the best in Teddy Down. So we then had to tackle the song again. Crawler. <laughs> <laughs> I can also tell you something, Mike. Right? I know how difficult this was because he avoided the subject every time I rang him. This song was this long, it kept going, I, I, have you finished it? Well, uh, I just did a, you know, yeah, it was difficult. And to be fair, you really shouldn't write pop songs in this way because you don't get the best out of it. Because you need, you know, we always say, we always knew what we were writing for. You know, whether it was Rick Astley, Bill Arnold, whatever. We always knew. We knew the artist, we knew what we were doing, we knew all what we could do, what you couldn't do. And when suddenly, here's a show that you're going to get one shot at, six different acts, and they're all very different, it's, it is almost impossible in truth. So was it kind of a relief then, once you got Josh, to get back into the studio and then you what, know what you were working with? Yeah. yeah. And how much input have you had in, in the staging of the song? Have you been in contact? No, that's, no, that's down at the BBC. Uh -huh. I mean, we, we did ask certain things when, when we first came up with the idea of the song. You know, we asked for certain things to be incorporated in the song because we wanted some effects. But no, no, that's down to the BBC, the staging. Most of the staging was done by a chap called Paul Domain, who's a fantastic choreographer. And um, we've, well, I've worked with Paul a lot, and, and so has Mike on the acts that we've had in the past. And he's, he is good at interpreting. Uh, songs. So I, I'm, personally, I'm very pleased with the way that he's put the production together for this particular song. Josh, you're now 28, 30 hours away from 100 million people. Thanks for that. Yeah. <laughs> Just no nerves. How are you feeling? I'm uh, I'm okay. I think uh, the, everybody's keeping me nice and busy, and I'm I'm just uh, having a great time. Everybody's uh, everybody's keeping me, you know, the positive energy is uh, is brilliant. So I'm I'm really looking forward to it. That's as much as I can say about it. And what's the thing you're most looking forward to about going home? About going home? Probably my pillow. <laughs> my own pillow. There's nothing like going home to your own bed and uh, just resting on your pillow. That's when you're late home. Well, I am... just say something here, which I don't think anybody's picked up yet. And this is not being facetious. Why can I have sat this afternoon and, and listened to all the songs? And we have written more hit songs than anybody else. And what is interesting is how many songs we've heard performed that have parts of our songs in them. For example? Well, there was one song which is called Je ne sais quoi, but in mm -hmm. fact the chorus is Pourquoi. Je ne sais pas pourquoi is the actual chorus, mm -hmm. which is one of our biggest hits with Kylie Minogue. Now, it's amazing to me that nobody in this whole festival has picked up that there's at least five tracks got parts of our melodies in, and there's at least four songs got our lyrics in them. It's very interesting because 20 years ago, all the writers that are writing these songs were young guys when we were, we were hitting all these songs out. Do you think that that's because these kinds of songs that you wrote sold so well that that is quite a formula that others might try and go, go by? I, you know, I, I, yeah, I hope so. But all I'm saying is it's very interesting that we've sit here 
have taken this challenge, all of the other writers were buying our records when we were the world's hottest songwriters. And you can hear it, you can actually hear our influences in those songs. And I, I find that amazing that no, the, no, 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 nobody's just said to us, hang on, the song for so and so is called Je ne sais quoi, je ne sais quoi, but the chorus is Je ne sais pas pourquoi, which is our biggest Kylie. <laughs> it's interesting to me, and, and the whole idea of the way they sung it, it's our lyrical idea of why we wrote the song. So, if another song was to win, could you claim it? No, I, well, I, what I'm saying is it's very flattering that yeah. we come here, and you can hear 20 years of our work in this festival. You know, even if we don't win, it doesn't matter, because we're part of it. it it's, we've enjoyed it, and just to listen to people writing young songs and new songs, it's fantastic seeing people enjoy themselves. You know, one thing is, we both said, and Mike said it, you know, there's not enough puppet on the strings here, and there's too many people worried about the world being, falling apart next week. You know, let the world fall apart, you know what? The sky ain't gonna fall in. Just sing a song, smile, and make the world smart with you. Simple work, simple songs, always get through. We all, you know, and with those words, Josh, <laughs> I'm biased. Best of luck Thank on you. Saturday. Thank you very much. And hopefully it all goes well for you. Thank you, Uncle. Good to see you.